Woman who pleaded guilty today to involuntary manslaughter in the death of an 18-year-old girl now won't go to prison. Morgan Weatherby was killed by a reckless and speeding driver back in May of 2020. Well, today the judge had to leave the courtroom after getting so frustrated by some of the accusations. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse right now. Robin, so exactly what happened? Take us through this. Alicia, the judge was just appalled when he found out that the woman who pleaded guilty created a fake Facebook and GoFundMe page trying to profit off of the crash she caused. 18-year-old Morgan Weatherby was a gift to everyone who knew her. She was very artistic and she saw everything in the world as something she could turn into an, a piece of art. Morgan's family and friends wore sunflowers in the color yellow to remind them of Morgan's brightness as they faced a difficult day in court Thursday. I'm truly sorry from the bottom of my heart. I know life will never be the same without Morgan. An apology from Brianna McLean, the woman who was speeding and driving recklessly, taking Morgan's life. Prosecutors say on May 7th, 2020, McLean was weaving in and out of traffic and driving on the shoulder to pass someone going 82 miles an hour in a 55 on North Tryon Street when she crossed four lanes of traffic, went over the median into oncoming traffic and hit Morgan head on. Morgan suffered a traumatic brain injury and fought for seven months. She died when she was 19 years old. The judge spoke about McLean in court. At that time, she viewed herself as more important than any other human being on the planet. And as a result of that, she killed somebody. But the judge said that wasn't the worst of it. I had to leave. It's outrageous. The judge left the bench to meet with attorneys when he found out McLean used this picture of Morgan's car and pretended it was hers and she was the victim, making a fake GoFundMe and Facebook page so that she could profit off of it. McLean won't go to prison. She'll be on supervised probation for three years after she pleaded guilty and she won't be able to drive during that time. Morgan's father spoke in court. I do not hate Ms. McLean, even though I'm angry and hurt, I do not hate her. I forgive her. A very emotional day in court, and the judge also did something interesting as part of McLean's probation. He's requiring her to, quote, make things right. That's how he put it on social media to get the truth out there that she was not the victim and to let everyone know and take responsibility for her actions. He's also requiring her to tell her story 10 times over the next three years on her probation to people who commit traffic violations. He's hoping that her story will really break through to people who are in these kind of situations to let them know that there are consequences to their actions. I'm live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.